calling it to order uh, for this SSS substitute bill. Uh, let me just acknowledge uh, through the ComSec the different guests here. Left to right, sir. Miss Debbie Assist you see from Department of Finance. Attorney Raul Dado, Executive Director, Office of the Undersecretary for Migrant Workers Affairs, DFA. Asit Joji is not here. Attorney John Rio Bautista, OIC Legal Research, Docket and Enforcement Adjudication Office of POAA. Attorney Robert Chuan, OIC Legal Services Department, OWA. Attorney Jamie Jamias Garcia, Director, National Wages and Productivity Commission. Attorney Manuel Dook, President and CEO, Social Service, Social Security System. Mr. Isaldi Capulong, Executive Vice President of Investment Sector, SSS. Attorney Voltaire P. Agas, Senior Vice President and Chief Legal Counsel, SSS. Attorney Joseph C. Disunya, Officer in Charge, Legislative Affairs Department. Mr. George S. Onkeko, Junior, SVP and Chief Actuary, SSS. Attorney Jonathan Villa Villasoto. Villasoto from uh, Deputy Executive Director, ECC. Attorney Sosali Jr., uh, Vice President for Internal Affairs. Mr. Marlon Ronyo, President Chair, Filipino Association for Mariners Employment, Inc., together with Captain. Ronald Inrilli, not yet here. Attorney Sian Buenso Siso, not yet here. And Mr. Erickson Marquez, sir, uh, not yet here, but they confirm. And in, ad in addition, attorney um, from the Institute for Labor Studies, Dole, Ms. Ama Crisma Lobrin Satumba. Okay. That's all, sir. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. I know myself. All right. Good afternoon again. Uh, as you can recall, during the last hearing, we have gone over the substitute bill. And during the discussion, we raised some issues which were not fully addressed at that time. Uh, couldn't uh, Attorney Doak stay here in front here so I can see because I get uh, bothered by the glare of Attorney Agus. Uh, there's less glare with Attorney Duok. Uh, thank you. I know you all have scintillating personalities, but uh, all right. I tax the SSS and the dollar to meet among themselves. Did you do that? Was that done? Uh, may I have an answer? Ms. Lebrin? Satuma? You did. Sorry? Unemployment insurance. And what about the other issues? Was that adequately covered? Anybody here from Dole? I don't want to prolong the agony of this bill because we're finishing the, uh, the tax reforms. And uh, if you're late, you're not going to be able to charge your proposed increases. So I hope you did that. We take our instructions, you take our instructions here with uh, severity because we don't want to delay the proceedings. It's your, it's your own funeral, not ours, and of course the people. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We truly appreciate the sense of urgency and the uh, uh, very strong support being given to us by the chairman and the committee. Thank you. We truly appreciate it. 
Thank you. The appreciation is unnecessary, but gladly we will get you everywhere. But of course, what you need to do is uh, make sure that all these uh, provisions that you need to do with the dole are, are properly addressed. And I hope you have some suggestions here, because I don't want to delay this anymore. Uh, this is one of the uh, laws that I promised I could do before the end of the year. I hope uh, you're all aware of that. And this is not an easy law. There will be a lot of questions by the members of the Senate. Again, I have to go over with the updated version, and I suggest we do it line by line to ensure that all the important points that have been raised, discussed, and agreed upon are included in the final version of the bill to be sponsored after the session discussion that of the tax reform bill and the 2018 budget at the plenary fall floor. Let me just point out also that uh, I read an item on the paper the other day. I didn't bring it here, but I can remember clearly that Attorney Duak made a statement concerning uh, uh, the proposed increases by the SSS. I would remind you that the increases are made in the principle of works, save, invest, prosper. The chairman saw to it that we have a culture of working, saving, investing, and prospering. And not just to say we're going to have a pension for the sake of having a pension. The whole point of work, save, invest, prosper is to see to it na pag natapos ang retirement ng isang tao, meron naman siyang makukuha ang pension na may dignidad. Na hindi siya uh, nakakaranta kung saan siya kukuha kung siya ay may emergency. In fact, kung ako lang masusunod, and of course, it may be uh, considered unpopular by some who, uh, who want to uh, adopt the policy of ad captandum vulgus, which is to cater to the mob or the masses. I do not cater to that. I, I think I can squander some of my political capital when the purpose of the law is to uplift the dignity of our people, that there will have to be sacrifices in order to satisfy makuha natin yung gusto nating pension. And nung sabi, mag-iipon tayo, pero pagdating ng oras at pangailangan tayo, wala tayong maibigay sa ating sarili, makabili ng gamot, papagamot ang ating sarili kung extra medicine at hindi covered ng mga health benefits natin at sa social amelioration programs ng gobyerno. So again, be careful when you make the statements. I would suggest, I'm a marketing man in my earlier life. I'm a lawyer too. I'm also a law and order man, and I've had many, many profiles in my life. But essentially, communication and marketing is important. So at every step of the way, I would advise you to remind people, why kayo, why kaon, in simple terms. Hindi ka kakayo, wala kang kakainin. Kung hindi ka kakayo, wala kang maiipon. Kung wala kang maiipon, hindi ka makakapag-invest sa mga negosyo. At kung hindi ka makakapaggawa ng mga ganun sa mga sinabi ko, ay hindi ka makakapag-retire na meron kang a measure of prosperity. I can see a lot of people nodding their heads because ang SSS is a nobulous law. When I think it, took it up in law school, are you finished with your meeting there? I will wait for you to finish your meeting. Please do not disturb us when we are already talking. So make sure that that, that proposal is always undertaken uh, so that our people will know. As I said, I'm sure Attorney Agas, I don't have to experience that, and Attorney Doc, SSS was one of those laws that we took for granted. Uh, we only remind ourselves about it when we need to borrow money from it in the old days or when we're about to retire. And I don't like it, I don't like the masses of our people to pale by comparison with GSIS. In fact, I think even GSIS has very low uh, rates, and I want to raise the standards, quite frankly. I don't want to eat my words later on, but all you have to do is look at the Singapore experience. Very few people, but very paying, very, very high provident fund uh, rates, and that, you know, they are comfortably ensconced with uh, uh, not only higher taxes, but also comfortably ensconced with good retirement. I'm sure you all join me in that. Ano sirbi nung uh, nagtabaho ka abroad? Marami pang drama ang ABS-CBN Komisan at ay mga TV station na naghihirap yung ating mga tauan doon. Pero in reality, do we really care or do we really care uh, about the...
please be careful. Stop holding hands and stop shuffling your feet there so that you do not bother the electricity. Thank you. Hindi naman ninyo nakuha yung joke ko eh. Huwag na kayo mag-holding hands dyan para hindi nyo nagagalaw yung inyong kuha. Tatagalugin ko pa. Nambakan po ito. Anyway, having said all that, we shall now proceed line by line. Can we make the, is there any PowerPoint here? What is the name of the lady holding the power, the power of the point? Gia. Gina. 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 Go ahead, Gina. Ano ba ang pinaka malinaw niya? No? Talaga malabo na mata ko. Wow. Impossible eh. I need to turn off the lights. Ano uh, mas malinaw oh, sa nina? Alis mo na yung background. Yung foreground. Yan. May pwede na kayo. Ria, can you take care of it? Can you help it out? Show your capacity for information technology. Gina, are you SSS or are you uh, Senate? Oh, we are, uh, good afternoon, uh, Lisa, uh, Senator Lisa on the Veros is here, and uh, we're gratified to hear that she's here, and to know that she's here, and to feel her. There you go, all right, there you go, see? Magagaling ang mga tao dito, sinabi ko lang feeling, nung wakan ng kamay ko. Her presence, that's what I meant, of course. Oh, may pag-asa ba? Can you give a copy to the uh, our lady senator uh, of the SSS? I know she's very interested in this. Uh, senator Risa, before you came in, I came in with the principle that uh, we should have work, save, invest, prosper in the culture of the SSS. Uh, this is because we have always taken for granted our people. Uh, we go to the barest minimum. Uh, we don't challenge them to really work harder, improve the economy so that we could have better salaries. And here, uh, since we're raising taxes, we want uh, uh, later on some adjustments so that uh, when they retire, they don't get a pittance. They don't get a pittance. Uh, so, pwede ba may pag-asa ba yan? O talagang malabo na yung inyong... Ha? Ah? The projector is the one malabo. Ha? Ah? Luma na. Mag-request kayo. Sino ba, sino ba ang may hawak dyan? Uh, Comsec, uh, make a formal request from the chair and in behalf of other committees that we should upgrade, and I'm sure I will be seconded by my gracious uh, partner here, Senator Andreveras, uh, so that we will have better visibility in our projectors. Anyway, let's try and do what we can. Please, Senator, you may want to go closer. So, okay, so you have the, have the bill, man. The suggestion is the substitute bill, as already done by after six hearings, we can go through it. May I have a copy? Para. Go ahead. Come on, we have very little time. Anyway, I will give uh, Senator Antiveras an overview uh, because I value her judgment a lot. Uh, this is the final presentation. There was some news that came out, and I corrected the chairman gently about talking about pension-oriented uh, SSS. Uh, we talked about the principle of work, save, and rest prosper, so that they will realize that if they work harder and they get more, they will have better investments. So, summary of the key amendments on the bill are as follows. Uh, OFWs should not be included. Let's say some point in sending them there and 
giving them false hopes na hindi sila kasama sa SSS, giving them all kinds of benefits, bayani sila, pero there's no such thing because when they come back here, they're impoverished. Uh, there will be an OFW representative who will be part of the SSS commissioners. Now, the law says Filipino migrants, including Filipino immigrants, legal permanent residents, and naturalized citizens may become members of the SSS on a voluntary basis. This will enrich the fund. There will be compulsory SSS coverage for both sea-based and land-based OFWs. Our sea-based folks are here. Uh, Captain Marquez is over there. Compensation of SSS commissioners for DMs, allowances, and incentives of the SS Commission shall be set by the GCG in accordance with RA 10149. Uh, exercise of powers. Approval of the President of the shall, not long, shall no longer be needed in the exercise of the following powers of the SSS. The principle here, Senator, is to make sure that we are focused, we're fast, we're uh, flexible, we're friendly to our people, and obviously, uh, we're forward-looking. Now, if we keep on passing it to the President, as you know, yun lang barangay doon, hindi pa na pa ipipirman hanggang ngayon. May problema tayo. So, kailangan mabilis tayo. So, I personally, my own imprint here is that I believe that we should trust first and then verify. I do not believe in the... I was raised by a Catholic Church. As you can see, I wear an October medal from that now, up till now. Uh, Sometimes Catholic teaching or means that man is guilty of concupiscence and that he will do wrong. So I presume that man will do right until he does wrong and then we punish him. I do not presume that he will do wrong so that it will be very hard for us to implement the law because we don't trust. I don't know if you disagree with that, but it's your privilege to do so. Uh, that is uh, the way I've always adopted and conducted myself and I thought that I've been quite successful in all my ventures in government and privately. So the power of the president shall no longer be needed in the exercise of the following powers of the SSS. Power to adopt, amend, and rescind rules and regulations. Power to establish provident fund for its members. Power to compromise or release in whole or in part any interest, penalty, or any civil liability to SSS in connection with the investments authorized in its investment reserve fund. Of course, I will add a provision here that we will have oversight functions in the Senate, in the, in the, in the Commission. Uh, and if the House so desires, they can have the same thing, an oversight, joint oversight committee. But it's not here in the, in the law yet. I just realized, Angela ba? Nilagay ba natin last time? Sinabi ko na. Sabi sa akin kasi, hindi pala nalagay. SSS shall have the power to condone or compromise the link in contributions. As the Commission may prescribe. Safety mechanisms for the exercise of this condemnation power. Commission shall issue not later than 120 days from the approval of the law and IRR for this condemnation power. Now, I would like to make an amendment here. Uh, Joseph, uh, you are following me, no? Gusto ko pag nagawa yung IRR, submit sa Senate para makita namin na hindi nyo binago yung law. Maraming nagbabago ng law sa IRR, eh. Alright? We'll just have one meeting. We call meeting. to do that, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, failure of commission to issue IRR shall render this condemnation, condemnation power inoperable until such time that the requisite implementing rules and regulations are issued published and shown to the Senate and the uh, lower house. Commission shall submit to the Congress an annual report on the exercise of this power. Annual report na nakalagay dito, kaya sabi ko, uh, whenever an exercise of this power, I'm just raising an amendment, you should inform the Congress right away in addition to the annual report. The respective committees must be given a copy of those orders I hope the ComSec is taking notes instead of thinking of her boyfriend. Uh, she should uh, take notes and uh, make sure that we put this in the amendment. I need an annual report as well as every time an exercise of these powers that we're giving liberally right now must be, the Senate must have prior information. Is that agreeable to everyone? 
Tariagas, in your infinite wisdom, do you agree? Thank you. The report shall include the following details, names and addresses of employers, for the, for the annual report, amount involved, amount compromised or condoned, and its justifications. SSS is not unduly deprived of its revenues. I suppose that should be included in any time you move drastically, uh, we should be informed. We have a very, very uh, careful Senate, and they will ask these questions, I'm sure, in the flattery. Fix from time to time minimum and maximum monthly salary credits of employees, rate of contributions and rate of penalty on you and unremitted contributions. Uh, very important, but must be done wisely. Power to develop separate social security program for voluntary and self-employed members. I think this is a good proposal, uh, and I think that uh, those who are self-employed should give, be given every opportunity to join, as they are now, but we should make it more liberal so that they can join. Even for those retirees later on who may not have completed the 67, at least to get a pension, not to get additional benefits, we will allow them to make hubble. The right honorable William, uh, your name again? <laughs> the Senator just arrived, and I'm happy that he's here. In the exercise of the actuary of his obligation to submit valuation report on the benefit program, Every four years, he shall take into account inflation, financial stability of the SSS, individual income gap, and poverty threshold for the elderly, similar social benefits provided by other programs of the government. Actually, he shall provide feasible, if feasible, whenever feasible, increases every four years. Why do you put feasible? Actually, he shall provide increases uh, on the feasibility of the increase every four years. Power to establish separate life or non-life insurance for its members. That will allow you better income, I hope. Power to insure or reinsure any of its assets in any reputable company, whether domestic or foreign. That is a risk, but I think it's important so that we can hopefully, with proper fiduciary, uh, I suspect in the fiduciary relationship, and making sure that uh, you have good advice and we're allowing you to get good advisors as well to invest uh, the funds in uh, good returns. If private corporations can do that, so can the SSS. Of course, we would have to, like I said, you will have to submit an oversight uh, report to us whenever that happens. Take note, ComSec. What is ComSec? Please stop chit-chatting there, otherwise I'll call your attention. Take note of what I'm saying. And the staff will please take note also. So any import, import uh, any, any thrust on life or non-life insurance for its members, any thrust for to insure or insure any of its assets in any reputable company, whether domestic or foreign. Power to establish subsidiary affiliates. You did generalize on not in your subsidiary, so you can do that, no? Because there might be a, a threat that uh, you might go into other places. Again, that is covered anyway by oversight. Uh, anytime we do as a new subsidiary, you should do so. Do so. SPMA can do that. Uh, and other co uh, corporations can do that. Provision on involuntary unemployment insurance program. I'm sure this is close to the heart of Senator uh, Riza. Uh, if somebody loses their job, uh, it should be in coordination with the dollar. The dollar should try to find jobs for them. And while they're not able to find work, they must. We cannot allow deadbeat citizens. They must look for work. The dollar should do that, and we will allow them to a limited degree some unemployment benefits. Unemployment benefit is given when an SSS member is un unemployed due to the following. An economic downturn, natural or human induced calamities and disasters, regulatory shocks, redundancy, retrenchment, and other analogous circumstances. Funds for this program shall be maintained and managed separately from the funds allocated for retirement. That's okay with you, Attorney Duoc. 
funds for this program shall be maintained and managed separately from the funds allocated for retirement. Yes. Joseph, are you helping your chairman? Yes, sir. Yes. Speech are you president, yeah. rather? Retract the payment of contributions for self-employed members. Shall be available only when the following conditions are present. Available only for old age pension. Voluntary self-employed member upon reaching the age of 67 would have paid at least 80% of the required 120 monthly contributions. So please below that, he cannot avail of this. So this, uh, this requires a religious payment of Jews, all right? Member has not availed of any lump sum benefit. Ah, this is my lucky day. <laughs> Senator Nana Sabina is also here. Let the record so state. Beside, uh, member will receive his benefit after six months from the date of his retroactive payment. So he doesn't get it right away. He gets it after he completes uh, six months. Amendments on the Investment Reserve Fund. Lifting of investment ceilings in the Investment Reserve Fund for greater flexibility in the management of funds by investment managers. Mr. Nairapan tayo, di natin mga investment pera natin properly. Enables, I don't want the pendulum to swing wildly because the pendulum swung when the funds were used very, very uh, irresponsibly in previous years. That's why we tightened up. Now we're going to go back to liberality so that you could generate more funds for retirement, for the pensions, and for a vibrant SSS that can make money. I have never run an organization that has lost money. Even SBMA had no money. But it is now a multi-billion peso. On our first year, we made money. Isn't that right? because you were there uh, visiting me all the time. And now they're, re and isn't that right that the Red Cross is now a four and a half billion peso corporation? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm warning you, there's no reason for any government corporation to lose money, except when they use it as their personal savings or bank account or their personal business. We will not tolerate that, at least while I have breath in my body and I'm still a senator, and I'm sure my colleagues will do the same. This is important to us. The welfare, salus uh, suprema, uh, what is a uh, salus uh, populi et suprema lex. The welfare of the people is the absolute or supreme law. And please remind yourself that. And I would put it on the SSS. I'm very fond of putting slogans wherever I go. This office, you should, I advise you to do that. So that you always are sure that your people know your culture. So it will also allow them, uh, colleagues and colleagues, to participate in equity investments in BOT projects. Why should Smart Globe, why should the Ayalas or the, the, our friends, the Angs, go into uh, projects such as, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, we call it the uh, highways or the overpasses, or the tollways, rather. I'm talking about tollways here, not really just the highways, but tollways. They're profitable ventures, and I think our, our pensioners or our people working should get more benefits from their savings. And that's why we allow this. We deleted the provision providing marital loans for members and added the provision that in case of the efficiency of the members of the SSS and any of their loans with SSS, the same shall be immediately charged against the contributions of the member, immediately. Joseph, you have a comment? You look surprised. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, we have uh, some reservations uh, upon our further inquiry of this uh, proposal. Speak a little louder, please. Uh, upon our further inquiry of this proposal, we found out that perhaps if uh, uh, the uh, chairman will uh, consider, uh, we found out that uh, loan obligations are civil obligations in nature and SSS contributions are statutory imposition. Yes. So, uh, by uh, uh, default, the legal uh, compensation or set of principle, in our sense, uh, will not uh, be should not impact on the contributions. Yes, sir. But they should pay separately. Yes, sir. 
because that will be prejudicial uh, in the end to the uh, to the worker the, uh, members because uh, they will be the ones uh, to be uh, prejudiced by the deduction in their contributions especially if this contribution I will play the devil's advocate qualifying contribution I will play the devil's advocate yes sir. and I'd like to have everybody listen to this if you borrow money you must pay for it if the government goes into public debt we must be able to pay for it either with taxes or with the uh, revenues coming from his government corporations or for whatever source. If an employee who is contributing to the fund prejudices the fund by not paying his obligations, you're telling me that we should not prejudice his future because he doesn't pay his obligations. Is that what you're telling me? If it pleases your honor, uh, in the SS law, in the current SS law, there is already such mechanism allowing the deductibility of these outstanding loan balances in the final uh, adjudication of their uh, benefit claims. Meron na pong... Uh, so in the final... Yes, sir. But you see, the record shows that you are not very good at collecting the loans. Isn't that correct? Would you like to give me some statistics to that effect? Now, I think we have those statistics. You lend money and you don't collect it. Then you come to us and you say you want to increase it. You're punishing everybody by doing so. It must be very clear to the employee that if he does not pay, even if he's going to be deducted, you're also punishing him in the end. But in the meantime, you're punishing the whole fund. Isn't that correct? Now, argue with me, if you will, all of you. What should be the philosophy here? Uh, yes. Uh, thank yes. you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this uh, proposal, if um, applied, will only create unfunded obligations on our part because when they uh, retire there would be less fund available to pay for their pension and is that good for them uh, you, you are going to make them burdens of the state the whole point of this law is to prevent any Filipino from being a burden to the state when he retires that everybody all of us if we're all members contribute and if somebody prejudices the fund, or the SSS, you, or your board prejudices the fund, you are going to make burden the entire, all of us. Now, you can tell me and argue, my mind is not closed. I'm sure my colleagues' minds are not closed. This is philosophy we're talking about. Hmm? Yes, Lisa, go ahead. Uh, just a follow-up, it's also in the nature of a question. Ito po bang pinag-uusapan natin kaugnay nung sa House bills ni na Senator Cheese and Grace empowering the SSS Commission to condone delinquent SSS yes. contributions? So ito po yun. Kasama po itong bill Senator Poe and Cheese Escudero. Dito. Kinonsolidate po ito. So kasama po yung authority ng commission na mag-condone uh, ng obligation. Apo. In fact, uh, very recently we just uh, concluded one uh, loan restructuring program where we collected the substantial amount okay. which significantly reduced the uh, uh, delinquency rate. Okay. No? Tama po si Chairman kanina na mahina ang aming collection efficiency at yan po ay aming inaamin, no? At yan po ay nagpatong-patong na sa uh, mga administrasyon na karaan at ang amin pong mandato ngayon ay sana ma-reverse naman namin ang situation. Kaya ngayon lang po siguro nyo nababalitaan na nagpaparade kami sa mga establishments. Only last week ay eh, pumunta po kami sa isang malaking uh, mall sa isang uh, sa Cubao sabi niya nga po ang pangalan ng mall anong po ang pangalan ng mall? <laughs> uh, farmers uh, Farmers? Uh, they are not as owned right? Opo uh, ay nakipag-cooperate po naman sila and now uh, we found out na about 
200 stalls o mga establishment ang hindi compliant. And we posted notices na binabalaan namin kasi umalis po yung mga proprietors, yung mga may-ari ng negosyo sa kanilang establishment. Yan ang nga pong ibig sabihin. Dapat, ang kultura natin, colleagues, is that SSS yaman ng pinaghirapan ng tao. Na yung iba, mangungutang hindi magbabayad, o kung di, hindi magbabayad yung employer, kinakawawa niya yung sarili niya, magsasara na lang siya, kakawawa niya yung empleyado niya, kumisang mababa na nga sweldo, hindi pa bibigyan ng beneficyo, tapos sisibatan niya. Ngayon, parehas ang timbang yan. Sa isang empleyado, hindi naman malalaki yung pinapautang yung utang eh, di ba? Di ba? Sa agari loans lang yung pinapautang niya eh. Pero ang, ang, ang record ninyo ay hindi nagbabayad. Yes. Mr. Chair, just to follow up, uh, pero dito po sa mga uh, panukala ni na Senators Cheese at Grace, yung, and, and uh, related dito sa ongoing discussion natin, yung parurusahan for delinquency ay yung miyembro o yung employer? Depende po sa, is, sa estado. Kung fully employed, ang employer po ang may obligasyon na mag ng contribution. So siya po ang uh, aming hinahabol sapagkat inaawas na niya sa sahod buwan-buwan yung contribution ng employee at dinadagdagan niya ng kanyang share. Ngayon po kung voluntary o self-employed, ayun pong uh, manggagawa rin ang parang employer niya sa sarili niya. Excuse me. We're not discussing that right now. What we're discussing is the loan of the employee. Yung utang ng empleyado. Yung employer, talagang masisingilin nyo yun, papanis nyo yun. Kung di siya nagbayad, that's even criminal. Alright? Yung employee, hindi niya nirimit. Talagang pinaparusahan niya talaga yung employee niya, ini-exploit niya. Pero ito, umutang yung employee. Hindi siya nagbabayad. Pag hindi siya nagbayad, bababa yung collection niyo at tapang pinatatagal niya yon, nalulugi yung fund. Na sinasabi ko, lahat tayo accountable. Pag umutang tayo, mabayaran mo. Pag hindi ka nagbayad, o, oh, mababawasan yung iyong, sabi mo sa kanya, mababawasan yung iyong magkukuha mong pension. Eh, hayaan mo na lang, bahala na. Yan ang sasabihin yan eh. Di ba? Tama ba yun? Uh, attorney Aga, Senior Infinite Wisdom. Di ba? Tama yan. So, ibig sabihin, ang sinasabi natin ngayon, bukod sa malaman nila na at the end of the day, bababa ang collection nila, by not paying, pinapahirapan nila yung total collection ng gobyerno. At sila mismo, maubliga siya ngayon, maghanap ng pagkakataon na magbayad. Kaya nga natin pinapayagan kayo na magtaas ngayon kayo ang bahala dyan, hindi kami ang bahala dyan, kayo magsasabi, dahil ibababa yung income tax ng maliliit para masama na sila dun sa savings na imbis na ibayad nila sa buwis, mabupunta ngayon sa savings. E tax is also savings eh. Hindi naman revenue yan, savings rin yan eh. Investments yan eh. Pare-pareho yan eh. Pero ito, savings din na ito nakakabigat ka sa kapwa mo pag hindi mo babayaran. Maybe I'm not seeing something here. And maybe I'm trying to be very strong. But I have to be strong for the many. Kung yung isang tao ayaw magbayad ng utang, hindi pa pera pa niya lahat. At ilang ba ang tao hindi nagbabayad kalamihan? Joseph? Marami? Konti? Minimum? Medium? Maximum? Ano ba? Maximum, di ba? Mr. Kapulis, sir, our Executive Vice President for the Investment Sector. When we proposed for the loan restructuring program, which was approved by Malacanang, we were targeting about 8.3 million members with past due loans. And after 12 months, about 10% of them, or 856,000, participated. Oh, see? So, ang, ang utang, pag hindi mo binayaran, pag pinabayaan mo, hindi niya nababayaran yan. Kaya kailangan sabi ko, wabantayan niya yan, man to man, guardian. O may utang ka, magbayad ka. 
Pag hindi na binayaran ng apat na buwan, limang buwan, ay na buwan yan, iba lang usapan yan, hindi na magbabaya yan. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, last uh, follow-up question on this point, on this question. I agree 100% kay President Do, kapag yung employer na nag-awas ng SSS contribution sa employee tapos hindi ni remit sa SSS, talagang kaparuparusa yan kasi that is theft or misinvestment or mismanagement. Pero ang interest ko talaga dito sa yung original na point natin ay definitely kapag SSS member umutang tapos hindi nagbayad, kailangan pabayarin, kailangan parusahan. But uh, baka the SSS could... Uh, share its wisdom with the committee, Mr. Chair, kung paanong magagawa iyon for the good of the whole fund and all the membership na hindi napipinsalaan yung enjoyment pa rin ng member ng pension pagdating ng panahon. Uh, if there's a way to separate those two, the right to a pension, dahil kahit siya ay uh, nagkulang or nagkasala, on the side of the loan. Pero habang nagtatrabaho siya or may, may negosyo siya, nag, uh, si self, habang self-employed siya, nagko-contribute siya, na mapakinabangan pa rin niya yung karapatan sa pension. So, yun yung interest ko doon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. May I, before you answer, let me just clarify. I'm not inured to the difficulties. Sometimes they borrow money because sira yung bahay nila, papagawa nila, naman sila. We can be liberal with that. Di ba? Pero kung umutang ka at hindi ka nagbabayad, you have no right to a pension. You are compulsorily required to contribute to the fund for the welfare of all. Di ba? Tama ba yan? Kasi kung ilan lang magbabayad, eh di, hindi rin makakaagawaan tayo yung mga lahat. Di ba? So pag hindi ka nagbayad, nakakabigat ka. Eh, kaya nga tayo nagkakaganito eh. Abot tayo ng abot, pero hindi natin nire-require yung mga anak natin, nung ipong ka, o trabaho ka, huwag ka mga ngutang na hindi mo kaya, kailangan alam mo, pag nangutang ka, kaya mong bayaran, at pag nangutang ka, bayar mo. Di ba? Hindi naman natin kinukulong eh, wala nang gano'n yan eh. Pero ang sinasabi lang natin, eh pag nangutang ka, hindi ka nagbayad, ibabawas namin sa pension mo na naipon, magtatagal yung pension mo. Di ba? Yun doon sa contributions mo, di ba? Ganoon na siya sabi niya, di ba? Kaya natin nilagay ito eh. Ngayon, ayaw niya na. Ang gusto niyo, hintayin natin pagdating ng pension, doon saan niyo babawasan. Eh, lalo magagalit yung tao. Dahil hindi siya nagbayad. Pagdating ng, pagdating ng retirement niya, wala siyang makuha. Eh, ba't din yung sinabi sa akin? Sana nagbayad ako. Maninis yan. Di ba? Eh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Uh, not to correct you, Chair, but just to say I, I need to go ahead to a meeting upstairs. Uh, upstairs, But if you will call a next hearing, I'll come back yes. to participate. Uh, this is the we will meet each other on the planes of the, of the plenary. Oh, sige po. Kasi gusto ko rin sana, kaya, uh, kaya ako dumalo, gusto ko rin sana uh, i mas ipopularize pa yung ideya ng social pension, lalo na sa mga seniors. But I will uh, continue to participate with you, Chair, on the floor. Me, uh, pa, pati dito sa papaano pa rin maging inviolable yung right to a pension, kahit pa uh, nagkakrimen pa yung isang miyembro. So I, I know it's difficult, pero i, baka pwede pa nating i-problematize yun. Salamat sa resource persons so, yeah. at salamat, Mr. Okay. Chair. Kasi kahit na nagkakrimen nga siya, eh, kung yung nagkakrimen yung employer, eh, kinukulong pa eh. Di ba? Diba, boss? O, oh, yan. Hindi <laughs> tayo pwedeng... Sa atin, dapat maingat tayo doon sa masinop tayo. Dahil lagagalit ang tao sa inyo. Nung araw, pinahirap yung pera doon sa mayaman, napurnada yung pension natin. Tama? Di ba? Ginamit yung pera ng SSS. Kung saan-saan din nila. Eh, ngayon, dapat maigpit tayo. Mayaman o mahirap, maigpit tayo. Maigpit tayo sa employer, lalo na sa employer, dahil kahit may kakayaan yan. Yung employee, kung utang ka, basta palalaran niya. Remember, pag umutang kayo, pag sinabi mo sa kanya, ano, ano ba psychologically, like I said, bukas pa akong isip ko rito. Kinalalabas ko lang yung isipan niyo. Kung halimbawa, ako umutang at sinabihan ako, tandaan niyo, pag hindi kayo nagbayad, at sasabihin lang sa akin, pag nag-graduate kayo, nag-retire na kayo, mababawasan yung pension niya, baka wala na. Yes, I mean, eh, bahala na. Tama, I, I think that's the way most people will think. Eh. Pero pag sinabi mo, pag hindi ka nagbayad, 
Dili ni chop pension mo, babawasan ko yung contribution mo. Kukunin ko doon para makabayad ka. Magkano bang inuutang? Magkano pinapautang niya para malaman ng ibang membro? Hindi naman ko hindi naman 50 mil, di ba? 75,000. 30,000. 32,000. 32,000. Maximum po 'yun. Maximum 32,000. And Mr. Chair, magkano yung monthly dues? Magkano yung uh, hinuhunin? Depende po sa uh, salary na dineklara niya sa pag uh, enroll niya para maging miyembro. So, ang pinakamababa po ngayon ay isang libong uh, salary at ang bayad niyang contribution ay 11% or 110 pesos buwan-buwan. Pag siya po nagretiro sa kasalukuyang level ng benepisyo kasama na yung dagdag na isang libong sinimulang ibayad nitong Enero, siya po ay tatanggap ng 2,200 versus uh, declared salary income na 1,000. So mas mataas pa po yung pensyon niya. Pero habang lumalaki po yung sahod na dineklara, eh, lumiliit naman yung proportion ng replacement income sa kanyang kasalukuyang income. Pero dito po sa proposal na nakahain sa committee at kung tataasan natin yung maximum salary credit sa ka-contribution, aabot po tayo sa punto na 98% ang magiging pension niya. Pension niya in relation to his Pension. monthly salary credit. Maganda po talaga itong nakahain ngayon. Pero kailangan tanggapin ng tao yan. Okay. Siyempre, Papa. Kaya kaya ayoko na sinasabi niya na basta tataas. Kaya kailangan malaman nila yung kultura nga na lahat tayo sama-sama dito kailangan alagaan natin ng pondo. Hindi lang kayo muna't pati yung nagko-contribute. Mr. Chair, Please, pa pwede ko lang humalaman kung ano yung peso equivalent ng 8.3 million members na hindi nagbabayad ng utang. Ilan total cash nun? 8.3 million. $42.7 billion. Principal pa lang yan. Kaya napunta tayo dito sa usapan ganyan. Kaya ang laki-laki ng utang. Eh. Ang laki talaga. Okay. Magkano yung magkano magkano yung interest sa atin na tax dues sa kwan? <laughs> sugar? A sugar, 47 billion. So magkano yung sa interest? 25.3 billion. kinukuha ang taksa sa atin na pinopropose eh. Kaya kahit, kahit na costong, sa wawalan tayo doon ng napakalaki, mababawi mo kung magbabaho, kukuko nila ng costong sa so mag-iipin, hindi na tayo magtataas ang bus eh. E dito, pag 42, 47 billion, e da, yun yung halaga ng sugar tax. Kita nyo kung gano'ng ka importante. Maybe, Joseph, meron kang tinatagong sekreto kung bakit ngayon ipinaglalaban mo bigla yan. Ang sabi ko nga sa inyo, eh, subsidiary nyo, baka pwede kayo magpa, magpagtabi ng pera na paluwagan, doon na lang kukuha. Oh, I hope my colleagues are listening. Sabi ko sa kanila, kung pera ng SSS, dapat panaypasok lang yan, input. Ngayon, kung gusto sila magpautang, magtabi sila ng pera dito, yun ang pautangin natin dito, para hindi nagagalaw. Itong pera dito. Marami allocation. Well, kung ganun kalaki, 47 billion, nagtabi kayo ng uh, every year, magpapautang kayo ng 1 billion a year na mababawi rin kagad, edi, hindi malulugi yung pondo. Pwede po ba yun o di pindi? <laughs> ano, Joseph? MD... Thank, you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Another point that we uh, wish to uh, put across is, in the case of employed members, mm. ito po yung uh, mga may... Uh, employers, ang hulog po ng mga employed ay sa kanila. Pero yung two-thirds po nun, hindi po sa kanila muna yon. Yung po ay employer shares doon hmm. sa monthly salary credit nila. Correct. So, uh, ang tingin po namin right now is operationally po yung loan deduction versus uh, yung loan obligations uh, being deductible to SSS contributions. Uh, 
hindi pa po kasi pag-aari ng miyembro yung pong employer shares doon. E eh, kung sabihin naman sa'yo ng employer, eh ba't kami magkocontribute? Yung hindi ko na contribute namin, pinapautang nyo, eh, 47 billion, hindi nyo makulak eh. Ano naman ang sagot nyo doon? Sagot. Talaga pong yung record na loan, yung loan uh, portfolio po namin, member loans portfolio, malaki sir. Malaki po talaga. Kaya nga, that's what we're trying to prevent. We're legislators who are listening to you. You're the ones operating it. Ang suggestion ko nga sa inyo, mag-set aside kayo for loans. May loan window kayo for this match. Kasi kung lahat siya, pautang kayo ng pautang. Ayan, totoo niya, sinara niyo pa yung loan window niyo eh. Salary loans, di ba? Sabi kayo ito to. Actually, sir, may statutory limit. Oh. Kanya lang nga po, being sensitive also and to be able to provide for the short-term credit needs of our SSS members kasi very, ano po yung clamor din. Kaya po, uh, nagbibigyan ng... Ganito yan eh. Pag nakautang, pag nalaman, ako, may mga employer ako dito, employee ako dito sa GSIS. Pag nangumutang yung isang empleyado ko dito, may nakautang ka? Ako rin ang utang. Pag yung SSS, nalaman ng isa, nakautang ako, ako rin uutang, kahit hindi kailangan. So dapat, ang sinasabi niyo palagi nga eh, protect, protect your retirement, uh, protect your prosperity in your old age. Di ba? I don't know what the other is saying. Mr. Chair, I'm, I'm just curious, kasi paano ba yung ano niyo? Paano kayo nang wawalekta nung utang? Hindi ba ho automatic yan pag employed ka, may salary deduction for that loan? So technically, parang um, automatic na yun na magbabayad sila, di ba? So paano ho lumobo at naging 8.3 million yung may utang? Um, yung mga self-employed and voluntary members, oh, na kapag nangutang po, halimbawa doktor or lawyer, pag nangutang ho sila, wala ho silang counterpart na employer, sila ho ang magbabayad ng... Uh, Buwanan. Yun din po yung dahilan ng uh, paglaki din ho. Kung ma so are you saying, lumaki yan dahil doon sa madalaking self-employed? Pati rin man po yung mga ibang uh, employed, nagka-problema rin po kami. Halimbawa... Gano'ng kalaki yung presentation, Saldi? Yung self-employed na nangutang doon sa 47 billion. Ilan ang presentation? Much less. Siguro 10%. 50%. Let's say 20%. 20%. So the 80% of the 47 billion is from the loans of the members. <clears throat> Sometimes the problem po is uh, when they transfer employers, the the loan balance is not being reported. Oh, well, yun, sa bayan. Kaya na talagang... Pero hindi ba po pag ganun, sistema na ng SSS yung may problema? Kasi bakit hindi nyo nyo monitor pa nagpapalit sila ng employer? Actually, yan po ang, uh, Mr. Chairman, ang isa sa kasagutan, although that will not totally address the problem. Ang aming um, uh, intention is to reduce the balance, outstanding balance of that. Sa ngayon po pati, ang portfolio po niyan, mga 72 billion eh. Pero kasama po yung current at good uh, loans naman. So, based sa... Uh, numbers na binigay ng kasama, kasama ko, ayan, mga 42 billion yung how bad much, loans. How much money have you made from loans? Uh, malaki po, kasi 10% po ang interest niyan. So, ilan ang kinita niyo doon? Baka yun ang susi. Um, so far po, uh, sa so, total membership, total, sa pinautang niyo, the total income that the SSS has generated from salary loans is 59 billion. 59 billion out of a uh, total 555 billion. Pero you could have gotten 100 billion over. Malaki yun. Iwan ko pa paano kayo nagdinigos. Yan ang magandang uh, ano, investment namin. Kaya nga lang po yung collection ang problem. Eh, yan palagi yung problema. If, there Pero maganda po ang maunahan pa yung inyong income. So, find the solution. Uh -huh. Ako, ang solution ko, pag kubutan ka, bayaran mo. At kinakatok mo. At dapat yung monitoring system ninyo, nalalaman nyo kung lumilipad. 
Yes, go ahead. Uh, well, uh, sure. Sure. Sure, I just want to pursue yung point ni uh, Center Binay, ni Nancy. Uh, I think she made a good point, no? Because a lot of these are, you said earlier that 20% are self-employed. So, 80% ang employed. So, itong 80% captured na ito, eh. No? And uh, they pay through their employers, no? In which you have also parang a database or interaction with the employers. So, theoretically, pwedeng mag salary deduction. Ginagawa ba ho yun? Direct salary deduction? Uh, Opo. That's true, uh, Mr. So, Senator. So, if uh, theoretically, ho, yung 80%, uh, madaling oh. singilin dahil uh, by salary deduction na lang. Ho, no? So, saan po nangyari yung problema kung 80% are captured captured clientele? Bakit naging 80% yung utang nyo kung salary deduction ang tinatalong sa inyo? Something to that effect, Mr. Chair. No? Uh, I'm curious, uh, Attorney, no? I, Yung self-employed talagang, I think that is a, uh, another treatment. No? But ito, itong, itong captured clientele, may mechanism because the employers are actually paying the salary. Kung may utang, di sabihin, oh, sige, bawasan na lang muna natin sa salary until ma-clear. No? And in fact, I remember some of the co-ops, yung mga savings and loans co-ops, ganun ang ginagawa. No? They tie up with the corporation and then they have a... Uh, uh, agreement na kung umutang yung employer doon sa co-ops, salary deduction na. Kaya maganda yung uh, payment rate ng mga savings and loans co-ops. No? So I'm just curious kung anong nangyari po. No? Thank you po, uh, Sir, uh, Your Honor. Ang sa case po ng mga employed members, bago pa mangutang ang isang empleyado, kinakailangan po yung participation ng kanyang employer. Kasi po doon sa loan application, salary uh, loan application particularly, dapat ko obligor niya po yung kanyang employer. Ginagarantiyahan niya na kilala niya po yung tao. So yung contractual uh, relationship between the employer and his employee as borrower of the SSS, nag exist po sa kanila yon. Unfortunately po, despite nang dinidak na siya sa monthly uh, takeout ng empleyado, minsan po yung payroll master, minsan po yung accountant din nila, hindi na po yung naiintrigo sa SSS din. So, Problema kaya, ninyo. Kaya nga po, may mga complaints po talaga na hindi lang po yung contribution deductions, SSS contributions ang nirereklamo ng mga employed. Uh, Nandito ba si Ms. Francisco? Si, nung nasa radio TV ako, si Rose Francisco ang tinatanong ko dyan palagi. Si May Rose. At sinasabi niya, sinasagot siya sa akin, nakahawa ko sa mga tao talaga. Dahil ang liit-liit lang, hindi pa sila makautang o kaya sinising sila. Ayun pala eh, kayo may problema eh. Abay, dapat ilagay nyo sa law yan. Pag hindi nag-remit yung employer ng loan, idagdag natin. So yung, yung, yung employer ang hindi nag-remit ng loan proceeds? Uh, or ng re loan repayment? Na, ga ganun po yun, uh, Your Honor. Uh, dinidimanda naman namin uh, kasama siya sa uh, violation po ng SS law. And, ang, unfortunately po, the current status of SSS uh, loan uh, transactions is part po siya ng investment uh, powers po ng SSS. Uh, hindi po siya katakalintulad ng SSS contributions na kung hindi nagbayad ng employer, Pwede mo pong sampahan ng kaso at ang uh, apan na uh, conviction, pwede pong emit out yung penalty na fine or imprisonment. So yung element po ng compulsion, ng penal provisions ng batas, hindi ganun kasing strong when it comes po sa mga uh, deductions po na sa loans ng empleyado na hindi po na remit sa uh, SSS. Mr. Chair, so what is the penalty? While you're looking for it, may penalty yung employer pagka hindi siya nag-remit ng utang? Attorney Agas? Yes, sir. Uh, we are suing also the employer for non-remit. Oh. Uh, employers who remit the collections, uh, let's say the amortization, are also being held liable. So, mga yeah, ilan mo? So, wala kayong dapat utang. Baka dapat bayaran ng employer yan. Yes, sir. Actually, sir, pananalaman namin madalas yan. Kunyari, let us say, may employee na pumunta sa amin, uutang. So, pa-iimbestigahan po doon sa aming branch yun. Pag nakita po yung employer, hindi inirimit yung mga amortization na ginawa ng employee, we sue them. 
But how fast can you do that? Eh, sir, because uh, the law provides that we have to sue them in court. No, 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 no. How fast? How fast do you discover that they're not paying? Ita tanong ni Senator Binay. Sa branch sa Senator. Tama yung mga tanong ni Senator Binay. Saka na Senator Katsilian. Perhaps, Mr. Chairman, just to provide also some context. Now, please answer the question first. Yes, sir. How fast can you discover it? It all depends on the workload of the account officers. We have account officers to handle the affairs of the employers. At this point po, uh, based on our initial study, the ratio of an account officer to employers ideally should only be 500 per one account But don't you have computers? Uh, we, we yes, you do have computers. Yes, yes. You spend a lot of money on information technology. Don't you have programs to this effect? Meron naman po, uh, Mr. Mr. President, uh, don't tell me you cannot do a program so that you'll discover immediate delinquency of payments? Uh, I'm shocked. I would be the first to admit na basically a major portion of this problem will be uh, solved administratively by um, um, improving our collection efficiency, enhancing the processes, support of technology to monitor the um, performance of the borrowers and their employers. Meron po kaming mga ginagawa ngayon. Alam nyo, ang nahabutan na naming alhalaga ng loan ay eh, over 70 billion na. Sir, you know? okay. I know you're doing a lot. Uh -huh. But as they say, what we're looking for is that this be prevented. Uh -huh. Because you may be doing a lot punishing the employers now for not paying their contributions, but for those employers who do not remit because their payroll master, tamad, the, ang, ang problema na sa inyo, tama yung sinabi ni Senator Binay, it is systemic. Yung sinasabi mo, one is to 500, that is, mi, that is middle age technology. Naglilista ka sa sari-sari store ng pautang. May mga programa na ngayon, na itong lugar na ito, ito ang mga may utang na hindi nyo na nga dapat dalhin sa, sa branch yan eh. Dapat pagka hindi nag-remit yung employer, lalabas na kagad yun. Sisingilin nyo na kagad. Eh kayo pala may kasalanan eh. Sandi lang po. At patalong ka, sasagutin ko po sa mga sila. Oh. Sino pa information technology ba? Saldi, you're, you're a computer man. You're an actuary. You're, you should know what to do with this. Uh, actually po. And George? We have a special uh, project ongoing on the electronic billing of uh, salary loans. Oh, when is it going to happen? No. Uh, it's, uh, the, there's a user test uh, ongoing. Huh? You know, that's a uh, standard. Pag tinanong ko ang bureaucracy, I always get turned off. Eh. Kamusta na? Ginagawa na po namin. Present progressive, pero hindi tapos. Kailan matatapos? The, the initial run will be uh, this year in the fourth quarter, and we already have budgeted uh, for the mailing of the uh, bills. bills. So, assuming you're finishing, you're able to finish it next year, you'll be able to assure us that you will wipe out these delinquent loans because the employer is supposed to remit? Is that what you're saying? We expect to uh, greatly improve. No, no, I, I, ask, I ask for a simple question, yes or no. When this program is done, Mr. President, when this program is done, delinquency will no longer be possible because the employers are supposed to remit, to deduct from their salary, yung utang. I mean, you're asking us, you're asking the chairman and the committee to sponsor this law Pagkatapos kayo, you do not want to do your share? Excuse me. I will sit on this law. Once that system is uh, in place, no, sir. we'll be able to reverse the situation. But as to the volume of the outstanding loan now, gradually we'll be able to wipe them. Out. Never mind. The, the, the past loan. You can take care of that. What I want to prevent is uulit na naman yung lalaki na naman yung utang. 
Lalo na ngayon. Ah, marami na, laki ng binabayad dami sa SSS. Hindi kami makautang. Tapos hindi magbabayad, ganyan na naman naman yan. It's a vicious cycle. So you have to have the program before you launch this. If you don't have that program, it will repeat itself. George, you're about ready to burst. I can see your face. What do you want to say? Um, with the, uh, sir, um, right now some of our borrowers are indeed just borrowing and just forgetting all about it. So there are proposals, admin proposals within the management. Like number one, we will inform them what their penalties would be if they don't pay. That is done already. The moment you borrow money, itong abayaran mo, yes, at kung mabilis kayo, nag, 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 hindi siya nagbayad kagad. Yung computer niya sasabihin, hindi nagbayad. So right, right now, we're planning to put an illustration, for example. If you Present don't pay it, Progressive na naman yan, ha? It's already, Kailan matatapos? It's already for the commission, sir, uh, for approval. Um, and then just to, if the chair would allow, to give, uh, may I give a, a financial slant to the salary yeah. loan? Sir, the salary loan, although the, the principal and the interest are relatively high, it's highly collateralized on their retirement. So meaning, hindi naman ho nasasayang kasi pag nag-retire yung tao, makukuha. Ho. That's not the point. The point is we want that person to retire with money. Yes, sir. The You're saying, oh, okay lang. Mababawi natin yan. Eh, I remember, the operative word is the burden of the state. He becomes a burden to the state. Sir, if he becomes a pauper. Sir, if I may, just, just, you one, may. just one more point. Pag ano po kasi, sir, kapag kinuha natin sa contribution yung loan, baka wala na po siyang maging pension. Kasi po, baka pwede... Hindi nga yun ang solution. Remember, I said I had an open mind. Hindi ko naman pinipilit sa inyo yun eh. Ano na-discover natin? Ang lumalabas, yung employer magre-remit. Tamad yung kanyang payroll, hindi ba padala. Ang problema pala, kaya ganon, pinababayaan ninyo yung mga nakaraan. Dapat, pagka yan, hindi nagbayad, automatically, yung computer niya, sinabi na kaagad, tinakbo na kaagad yun. Hindi niya pwede sisihin yung employee. Because yung employee, hindi na didakal siya ng employer eh. Nagpapayaman yung employer sa kanya. Baka siya nasabi ng employer, huwag mo nang bayaran, gamitin mo natin yung pera. Pwede yan o hindi? Pwede, di ba? Come on, guys. I need a solution here. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, sa iba pong tema, dito sa nakasalang nating bill, may Opo. maganda pong panukala. Ito po yung pag-issue namin ng warrant of distraint, levy, and garnishment. Ito po ay nakalagay sa ano? sa batas na maaari namin gayahin ang pagpapatupad ng pangungulekta ng buwis ng BIR. Kaya ito po ay uh, humihingi sana kami ng executive order sa ating Pangulo na kung ibigay niya sa amin ang kapangyarihan yon At yan po ay iisa-isahin namin isyuhan ng warrant ang lahat ng delinquenting nangungutang o bureaucracy na naman o yan eh. Ito lang sinasabi ko sa inyo. I don't agree with that. Maybe I will agree after you do this. Maybe we put into the law that we punish the SSS if they don't collect. If they don't have a computer program, we punish you. Sir Chair? Yes. Siguro, may sistema ho ba kayo ngayon, for example, yung employer, hindi nakarimit ka agad? Do you give out first warning, second warning, third warning? Po. In fact, uh, yung action officer namin na uh, sa kanya naka-assign ang mga employers na nabanggit niya kanina, mahigit na isang libong employers, bawat isang account officer, na pag na-confirm uh, na niya na delinquente ang kanyang uh, inaalaga ang employer, eh yan po, within six, uh, padadalhan niya ng billing. Pag uh, hindi, wala pong reaksyon o uh, nagbayad, hindi nagbayad ang employer concern, yan po automatic ng isinasampa sa legal department for legal action. Opo. Kaya yan naman ay na, nasusundan namin. So ilan na ho yung ganun? Uh, ilan ho yung ganun ngayon? Pwede ho bang i-refer ko sa head ng legal kung ilan na ang... Uh, Natin. 
Yung nangyayari naman po, kadalasan po, pag, yung, yung sinasabi ni President po is with regard to the contribution. So, pag yun ay... Eh, We're talking about the loan. Kasi sa loan na, po. Napag-usapan ko kanina kasi may instances na yung may ari ng kumpanya, dinideduct niya yung loan dun sa empleyado pero hindi niya naririnit. So, Opo. pag ganun ho ba yung sistema niyo ho ba sa SSS, nakikita niya na na sandali, itong si empleyado na to, hindi nakapag-remit ng bayad sa utang niya. Um, and then, do you send out uh, something dun sa employee para to say na, sandali, hindi kayo, yung isang empleyado niya, hindi nakapag-remit ng utang niya. May, may ganun ho ba kayong mekanismo? Meron po, meron po kami ganun. Sa so, pag yung, yung mga, let us say po, yung na-discover na namin na may mga employers na nagkuhan ng mga loan amortizations at hindi nirimit sa amin. So, dinidemanda po namin yon pinanagot po namin yon Katulad nito yung mga figures po, ano, yung collection in 20, in 2016 alone, uh, we were able to collect around 17, uh, 17 billion. Tapos po, ang penalty dun is one, mga 1 billion, so 18 billion po. Excuse me, help. The moment you get into suits, that costs the state money. Yes, that sir. That costs you time. Yes, sir. What I'm trying to solve is you don't have to go there. Yung sinasabi ni Joseph Karina, meron siyang assigned 500. Pag, nag, pag pumalpak ka agad yun, automatic dapat, meron ng warning. Oh, Mr. Employer, hindi ka nag-remit. Pag hindi ka nag-remit, automatic, without suit, I charge you 3%. Oh, may kumampana na. Oh, pwede yan? Opo, pwede siya mampana. As much as possible, po. we don't want to go to suits. You're gonna have to pay lawyers. You're gonna waste the judge time. Mm -hmm. oh, isa, so, isa po, isa po mga ano nga po, ito nga, dati po kasi, at ito yung sinasabi ni Joseph, pag yung empleyado, eh, hindi nagba, yung loan niya, hindi nababayaran, dati iniaasa natin na sa pagdating ng retirement niya, doon na lang kukuha na yan. Kasi nag-earn ng 10% niya na gan. Pero kamukha naman panukala nga ni Chairman dito, na sabi niya, eh, kawawa naman yung empleyado. Pero pagdating... yun nga ho eh, kasi di ba, bakit na ikakaltas doon sa empleyado when technically, nagbayad naman siya nung utang niya, hindi lang nirimit nung employee. Yung mga, yes, yung so, mga ano po, bakit, yung mga, bakit siya yung, yung pension niya yung maapektuhan, eh, bayad naman siya dun sa loan na yun. Yung so, mga parang, bayad po, eh, yung mga bayad po, pinapapension po namin yon So, notwithstanding that there so, is non-remittance of the employer. De, so, pero, dun, dun nga ako tayo magkakaroon ng problema kasi, di ba sabi nyo, pag may utang, babawiin niya na lang sa pension nila. Pag, dun sa dulo ko, di ba? Opo. But, kung yung employer yung may kasalanan, So, saan nyo kukunin yung utang na yon Kasi hindi nyo na pwedeng kunin dun sa empleyado dahil nagmabayad naman siya. Do you charge it dun sa employer? Sa employer po. Sa employer sa namin. Sa pension ng employer? Hindi po. Yung sa employer, we will hold them uh, liable, yung mga assets niya. Yung in the meantime, yung employee po, dahil eh, nakolekta ng employer niya yun, no? parang considered fade na siya. We're, we're dwelling here and we're running out of time because we have a session at 3 o'clock. But let me just remind you, Attorney Aves, Agas, and Attorney Desunya, and Attorney Doc, under the penal clauses of the SSS, Section H, any employer who, after deducting the monthly contributions or loans, amortizations from his employee's compensation, fails to remit the said okay. deduction to the SSS within 30 days, Tagalion, From the date they become due, shall be presumed to have been misappropriated such contributions or loan amortizations and shall suffer the penalties provided in Article 315 of the Revised Penal Code. Yes, you know what 315 is? Yes, sir. Estafa. Estafa, sir. Estafa. How many cases have you filed for Estafa? So th that I don't have the statistics now. That is the problem. You should have that. You're appearing before a legislative uh, body. You should have that. Because that will show your effectiveness as a lawyer of SSS. Yes. Criminal action arising from a violation of the provision of this act may be commenced by the SSS or the employee concerned, either under this act or in appropriate cases under the revised penal code, provided that such criminal action may be filed by the SSS in the city or municipality where the SSS office is located if the violation is committed within its territorial jurisdiction or in Metro Manila at the option of the SSS. Now, say you're not about that. Actually, ang gusto ko nga dyan eh, automatic, kung may bond pa nga siya, dapat pag may bond, 
Pag nakiram, maglayo ka ng bond, we can go against the bond right away. That saves him lawyer's peace, right? Kumuha kayo ng bond sa SSS, magbigay kayo ng bond, and we were giving you powers or insurance and non-insurance, non-life, it's a life. Kumuha kayo ng bond, magbigay kayo ng bond, pag umutang ka, may bond yung employer. Ha? May bond. Or else na hindi siya nagbayad, kukunin sa bond. Tumagal, staff ha. At dapat quick claim yan. Dapat ilagay sa quick claims court yan. Small claims court. Ay na ba ang ilang araw yan? Ay, sir. Sa small claim court, sir, the case will be resolved in one day. One day. Ayun, dapat. Ilagay natin sa law. The amount involved in my 100,000. The important thing that I want to emphasize is ang problema natin sa lahat ng laws natin, walang culture. You're creating a culture that the money is important. You're collecting money from the people so that you preserve their posterity. And if you are niggard, if you are negligent, kayo, abay, pinapera pa niyo ang buong sistema. Nagagalit ang tao sa gobyerno. I know. Nagprograma ako dyan for one and a half years eh. Nagagalit ang tao. Lahat ang sinabi dito ng kabaladid mga senador, tama. Ang lumalabas, kayo ang may problema. You don't want to solve the problem. Kung may problema kayo ganyan, kalaki eh. The board should have already acted on how do we solve this problem. We should go to Congress and ask for an amendment of the law so we can be more effective. That is the way a board acts. You don't wait for the president. You come over here. That's why we have committees. I'm chastising you directly now. We will amend this and put the provision, small claims, and we will also put in any employee of the employer in charge of collection who fails to religiously account for his collection or her collection uh, responsibilities shall immediately be put to some sanction. You agree? Pati yung officers. Sabi namin yung pati yung officers. Tama? Hmm. Sige. Pagka hindi gumalaw yan. Alright? Are you okay with you guys? Yeah. Oh, we will amend this then. Take note. I already have the amendment actually. At saka ilagay natin doon sa kwan eh. If we have to amend the small claims sa kwan eh. Dapat talagang priority ito. Priority. Because you have to protect. You know, in Singapore, pag hindi ka nagbayad ng Provident Fund, nung araw, akit yung TV camera. Kukunin lahat yung equipment. Lalagyan pa, this person does not pay his dues to the fund. Kinukunan ka ng TV. At pinapalabas sa TV sa Singapore. That's why they have a very strong government, a very strong company, a very strong uh, Provident Fund. People there are happy. That is your job. Pasayayin nyo yung tao sa inipon nila, tatamasa sila ng magandang beneficyo. Kasi kung kayo maingat, ang, you know, that's an honor. It's an honor to be chairman or to be president of S SSS. Kung mapalakas nyo yan, mamahalin kayo ng tao. That's why we take a uh, special uh, effort here. These are six meetings already. Okay, let's, mo let's move on, shall we? Asa na tayo? Oh, are you okay, Joseph? You're a lawyer. You should not be able to make those provisions. Oh, ito, enables SSS participation. Kung hindi nyo kayang kumulekta lamang dyan lang, Ba't ko kayo pagtitiwalaan? Ba't namin kayo pagtitiwalaan na invest nyo yung pera ng SSS doon sa malalaking uh, securities? Ba yun natatakot na ako ngayon, ah? I think we should, we should take a breath here before we allow you all these new powers that you want. What do you think, Mr. President? I, don't, I think you're being unfair to the chairman because the chairman has been actively trying to improve your corporation. Pagkatapos, hindi nyo masagot, yun lang. Kami pa nga hanap na solusyon. 
enables SSS participation in other securities trading markets. Hmm, that means you can already you can already do that even now, di ba? Meron naman yan eh. Enables SSS participation investing in foreign currency deposits or investment grade rated foreign currency denominated debts. That's new. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, that's a big uh, chore for you. All this is designed to make the SSS, to enrich the SSS for the benefit of the people, not to give you more compensation, although that is due, fair, but to give the people yun talagang meron silang maasahan pag nag-retire. Ano, 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 ano sabi niyo sa akin? Magkano ang pensyon ng janitor? Saldi? 2,000. 2,000 a month. He has to live with 2,000 a month. Eh, wala pang bayo doon sa gasolina ng kotse ni Sherwin Gatsaya niyan. <laughs> Sorry, Sherwin. For a certain lad, 2,000 a month. That's unconscionable. In the proper exercise with the Commission of its authority to manage and invest the reserve fund, the Commission may enter into, make, perform, and carry out contracts of every kind and description with any person, firm, or association, or corporation, domestic or foreign, carry on any other lawful business whatsoever in pursuance of or in connection with the provisions of this act, including but not limited to the creation, management, and operation of subsidiary corporations, affiliates, and other entities, and perform such other acts as may be necessary, useful, incidental, or auxiliary to carry out the provisions of this act or to attain the objectives of this act. Ten, provision and expropriation of SS property by private entities. We are protecting you. You can have property and expropriate them. National Greed Corporation, spelled G-R-E-E-D. Hindi tama yan. Kaya pala nagbumura yung presidente natin eh. P.I. SS is allowed to employ the services of foreign fund managers. O yan, pinigyan natin sa inyo yan. For domestic or foreign investments, if domestic fund managers cannot match their track record, their experience and performance. I'm coming from my own experience in Subic. I hired uh, a fund manager, uh, one, what you call an investment manager. Na magaling. That's why hindi kami nangingi ng pera sa gobyerno ng araw. Pa Paiyakan pa. May budget kami. Paiyakan pa para ibigay. So, if we can do it, so can you. I trust in your capability. But the one thing I would like to advise you once this bill is approved, have the passion to check every detail. Don't let your people drive you. You drive your people. If you do not drive your people, iba-iba ang ugali ng tao sa gobyerno. I'm sorry, I, I tend to be very gone. I'm a natural executive. All my life I've been an executive. So I try to get things done. So, I don't know whether we should invite you. Do you want to add the provision where SSS can hire property managers for its real estate assets? I'm not sure I want to do that. Let's try this first. Later on, you can come back to us and uh, ask us. Because you have a lot of property, right? Yes, sir. No. Oh. Dami dami yung property. You have to give us a plan. At the next, uh, I will call a hearing, not for the law anymore, but for how you. T you tell us how you're going to manage your properties. Marami tayong government corporations may properties. Ang isang target ko dyan, Manila International Airport. Ang daming properties, hindi makuha yung property, mababa ang renta, dinadaan sa demanda ng demanda, kaya lugi-lugi ang bayan natin. So, are there any more comments? I wish you could have done this line by line. But we've had six hearings already, and I'm ready to cast my ships in. I would entertain a motion for, for my colleagues here to say we're ready to close this and submit this to the plenary. 
Matapos na sila ng technical working group, marami na sila. Do you want another technical working group? Baka hindi na tayo mabot. Ang ganun nga rin yan eh. So, ano, sinabi ko sa kanila, bago tayo mamasok mag-technical working group sila, isa lang ang tinalakay nila, yung sa compensation, unemployment lang, di ba? Ate? Tama ba yan? May satumba? Oo, oh, yan. Oh. Would you like another, another technical working group? Ang inahabol ko, assuming we pass it, assuming we pass it, dapat, dapat makasabay ito dun sa sa tax reforms natin dahil gusto ng presidente kumanda rin tax reforms sa January binatak nga yung income tax para makapagdagdag dun sa, income, sa pension sa SSS right you had a question there Mr. Marquez yes Mr. Chair uh, gusto pa lang namin liwanagin kasi iba na naman po yung C-based OFW uh, situation umuutang ang mga seaman pag nakabakasyon uh, when they are no longer uh, employed by us apa. because they are outside of their contract. So I wanted to ask the SSS whether uh, if an applicant for a loan, a seaman applies with them, uh, ini-inform ini ba nila yung previous employer, immediate previous employer na umuutang at kung inaprobahan nila, sinasabihan ba nila yung immediately previous employer na umutang at kung magkano dapat ang bayaran. The point being, because, kung sasabihin po sa amin yun, eh. Paano nila didida? Kung ano na yung kapitan doon? Pagbalik, pagbalik po namin, pagbalik ng sima namin, alam po namin, umutang siya. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Oh. At kung magkano po ang babayaran, because we are, we are willing to deduct, but ang nangyayari po, umuutang sila usually kasi wala nga silang uh, work. We don't make time. a provision to that effect, pero napaka-kuto napaka na yan eh. Uh, IRR. Chairman, That's we why will I want the IRR. With your, uh, I want the IRR submitted uh, to, the to the committee. Katawagin namin kayo ulit, ano po? Yes, sir. And, and finally, ang comment lang po namin, uh, nakalagay po dito na ang C-based at land-based OFW yung pong manning agent or recruitment agency will be considered as the employer. Apo. Sa C-base po, we have payrolling service. So we can deduct and we can ask the employer to pay the employer share. Pero sa land base po, wala po kami nadidinig na comment. Wala naman pong uh, payrolling service ang uh, land base OFW kasi doon po lahat ang sweldo niya sa abroad. Pa paano po magiging responsibilidad ng recruitment agency yung pagbabayad ng SSS, both employee and employer. We're supposed to make arrangements with the DOLE and the POEA to uh, do this by agreement. Isn't that correct, uh, Ms. Bracero? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, last meeting, last hearing, I already raised this one. Yes. That uh, the land-based, uh, we are not uh, we are not the one handling their salary. Mm. It's the employer. So once we send them, wala na po. No, but if you heard me, if you heard me say this a while ago, kayo na po propose na eh. The only way you can do that, and I told Dolly, you're from Dolly, right? No po. Land-based association. Meron Dolly dito eh, dati. POEA, hindi ba sinabi ko sa inyo last time? At umuo yung undersecretary of labor dito. Now you will now Buti pa kayo, kumakain ako, hindi pa nagbe-breakfast and lunch eh. Uh, sige, kumain na kayo. Ha? So, ibig sabihin, dapat kayo, makikiusap kayo, uh, makikipagtratado kayo na lahat ng empleyado natin sa Saudi Arabia, sa gobyerno, ngayon may SSS na kayo. Kaya ididak ng employer ninyo, ididak nyo sa isang ayente yung inyong binabayaran sa OFWs. Mayroon na ba kayong ginawang ganyan? Kasama ang DFA dyan eh. Actually, Mr. Chair, dun sa Section 9B, uh, we propose uh, after the TW meeting with uh, DFA, DOLE, OWA, and SSS, uh, the proposal, as far, uh, in particular, the second paragraph, that the Department of Foreign Affairs, the Department of Labor and Employment, in the social security system 
shall ensure compulsory coverage and access of OFWs to social security arrangement agreements and labor agreements concluded between the Philippines and other states or countries or through recruitment or money agreements in employment contracts. So those are the instruments wherein we could uh, uh, implement the, the, the uh, corresponding uh, responsibilities of both the agency as well as the employers. So tell us in Tagalog what you just said. Kung naintindihan mo yan. Uh, may pamamaraan po kung saan natin i-implement yung Talaga ating... may pamamaraan. Ano yung pamamaraan na yan? Uh, ito po ay sa pamamagitan ng bilateral agreements oh, hindi ba o kasunduan uh, between dun sa sending, sending states and then receiving states. At ang susunod pa po dito ay pwede naman po itong ipaloob dun sa mga kasunduan ng employer at ng agency. Ito po yung tinatawag na recruitment agreement or money agreement. At dito po ilalagay yung responsibility. Sa barko yan. Sa barko yan. Uh, sa land base po at saka sa sea base, pareho po silang merong uh, dokumento bago magpa-accredit as an employer. Yung po yung tinatawag para sa land base ay recruitment agreement at para naman sa sea base po ay money agreement. So dito po ipapaloob yung responsibilidad ng agency at ang kaakibat na responsibilidad naman ng employer. Kaya nga, ito yung mangyayari lamang. Work in progress na naman ito. Kung ang dole at ang DFA ay gagawa ng uh, agreement with the host country, correct? Uh, Mag-independent mag po ito dun sa bilateral agreement sapagkat ang implementasyon po ng recruitment and money agreement, ito po ay hindi kinakailangan na sa isang bilateral agreement. E sino nga magbabayad yung money agent? Yung money agent? Kung may money agent, e kung yung tao pumuslit, kung yung tao ay hinahar doon, lumipat siya, hindi siya nagpaalam dito. Isipin nyo lahat, trabaho nyo yan eh. Di ba? So sinasabi ko, maglagay tayo dito sa batas na the Department of Labor in pursuance to this uh, new SS is to inform all host countries that we now have this in effect that all foreign or uh, overseas Filipino workers must now receive SSS, uh, must now pay SSS contributions and that their employer should be part of that contribution. That should be part of the wage proposals. What is your rank there, John? I'm DOIC Legal uh, Director for Legal Research and Docket. For? Legal Research, Docket and Enforcement Branch. Uh, in that case, I will not push this. We will have another hearing to tackle this. You are supposed to do this TWG. Ilang beses ko na sinabi yan eh. Ilang ulit ko na sinabi yan. Nireis na yan ni Erickson ng isang araw pa. Now, you better tell Dole and your POEA head to come here and make the proposal. I don't want them to come here and do nothing. Make the proposal in the law. Am I understood? Huh? You better go right away to your bosses and say, Chief, iko compulsory na ito, kailangan gumalaw tayo. Is that possible? Maraming ibang countries mayroong ganyang agreements, di ba? Actually, Mr. Chair, ang meron lang tayong bilateral agreement. I'm not talking about our country. Pero meron na tayong mga ibang country. In, your own, in our own country, meron tayong ibang agreement na ganyan. Ang Qatar pumayag na eh. At saka uh, Bahrain, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Mr. Chair, I just want to know, no? Il ilan bansa ang meron tayong ganitong agreement? No? Uh, I'm just curious, Tony. Yes, yeah, sir. Sir, sir, yes. Uh, so far, Your Honor, uh, as, uh, as an agency sa land-based, wala po kaming natatandaan na meron pong uh, bansa na pumapayag na yung, kan yung employer ay mag-shoulder ng hati dun sa uh, uh, workers for the SSS. 
So wala ho tayong bansang may ganitong wala po. So far, agreement. Wala. Wala so ano po. po ang ginagawa ng mga land-based voluntary? Voluntary po. Usually, sinasabihan so, namin sila. Uh, through uh, paano hong voluntary? Uh, during the briefing, we tell them that ito yung makukuha niyo pagka nag-SSS. Paano sila nagbabayad? Uh, Be, hindi, diretso po ng sinasabi namin sa SSS sila so, diretso pumunta. na remittance, Apo. diretso yung remittance Apo. po parang self parang self-employed po ang dating ang labas nila Apo. voluntary contribution po kaya yun po yung stand ng land-based recruitment agencies na uh, pairain pa rin yung voluntary kasi mahirap po yung compulsory din um, hindi namin mapipilit yung employer na uh, mag-share you know that Attorney Dado, di ka, hindi ka, hindi ka, hindi ka nagsasalita. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I, uh, we have uh, ongoing agreements and negotiations with uh, Norway and Sweden. And we have a copy of this, uh, we'll, we'll send it to you. And Sweden at the moment. And Sweden. Yes, sir. We have uh, labor agreements with uh, Middle East countries right now. Pero yung labor natin agreements with them, walang SSS component, sir. So that can be part of the ongoing negotiation. Wala na, no? Walang SSS uh, provisions po yung ating uh, labor agreements with the Middle countries. We have about ano yan? Foreign Social Security Arrangements, Austria, UK, Spain, France, Switzerland, Belgium, Denmark. Ni wala yung sinasabi mo Norway, tsaka Sweden. Uh, ongoing po yun. But these are the ones uh, available right now. Pero uh, doon po sa Middle East, for example, yung labor agreements natin wala pong Social Security components, which we can put in there, for example, sa Kuwait, yung ambassador doon, medyo proactive siya. So he wants to put some social security provisions. No. Mr. Chair? Yes. Siguro, what is part of the social security agreements? Nagre-remit ba yung employer, for example, in Norway, nagre-remit ba sila sa SSS? Well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get the exact uh, provisions on the Norway agreement, uh, per se, but the idea of, uh, to support the, the idea of uh, increasing the fund uh, from OWS contributions, that would entail the ambassador, for example, to have a very strong stand in uh, requiring employers to pay their contributions. Attorney, what is the likelihood that we will have social security agreements uh, included in these bilaterals? What is the likelihood? Is that something realistic? Is that, uh, or is it a... Uh, a wishful thinking. Uh, Senator, uh, that's something uh, difficult but realistic in the sense that if we put it in the law, we can enforce the, the embassies and the posts to exert extra effort in uh, getting these concessions from That is what I've been trying to say from, from a few days ago. If the, you know, I remember, Nancy, if you will, if you will listen to me for a while, in Lebanon, no nagkaguluyan, I found out that some of our people are being paid a hundred, hundred fifty billion dollars. Kinakagat nila. I went to Jen, Secretary of Labor, Brion. With I was then uh, one with uh, Secretary uh, Romulo, and I said, "Hindi tayo dapat magpapadala sa ibang bansa na ang sweldo lamang ay hundred dollars or hundred fifty dollars. Doon yung four hundred dollars. Yan ano yari?" In other words, napilitan sila. So, kung ilalagay natin ito sa batas na may instructions sa lahat ng DFA, TOLE, PO, POA, may papakita sila sa kabilang basa na ito requirement. Now, yung mechanism yan, which you were supposed to do sa inyong technical working group, that's why I'm very pissed off right now. That is what you were supposed to do. Ang mangyayari niyan, dapat kayo, sinagest nyo na kung anong mechanism. Should they pay through the embassy? May SSS tayo doon sa labor, sa labor kwan doon, sa... Meron, pwede tayo maglagay. Meron tayong labor attache. Pwede tayo maglagay ng posting doon. Para makuha yan, because it's big enough eh. 8 million to 10 million yan eh. So, if that's big enough as it is, we can pay for that. But, they cannot go, DFA cannot go to another country on a proposal. They will never agree. And when you go there with this proposal, they will either say, in that case, we will get from India, we will get from other countries, we will not get you. 
So, hostage tayo sa labanan. So, in that sense, dapat meron tayong magaling na negotiator or if I'm not mistaken, I am sure it is covered by some universal declaration in the United Nations on treatment of migrant workers. I would have that research if I have not had it research already. Na pwedeng gamitin yun as basis. Pero at the moment, if we want this bill approved with that, we cannot go unless we are willing to throw, roll the dice and say, DFA, all these guys are now uh, mandated to negotiate from here on with all other countries retaining workers from the Philippines to negotiate a deal where they will be covered with social security. And if not, if not, DFA is instructed to craft a resolution in the United Nations to allow that this provision should be provided for as a guarantee to all migrant workers. I've been fighting for this, by the way, Sir Cross. So, ito dapat malagay. So, kung gusto natin tumuloy ito, we will do that. But I will ask DFA and Labor to come especially here for a meeting TWG with SSS. Doon na lang sa office ko at kumuha na lang tayo ng stenographer. Find out what language we can put in the bill before I submit this on the floor. Yes, Mr. Chairman. All right, Raul. You cannot just come yes, here on your own. You can talk to former Senator, now Secretary Caetano. You can talk to uh, Labor, can talk to Secretary uh, of Labor and, and POEA. You have to work together and find out. Because hindi kayong makakagalaw yan kung wala kayong papakitang batas. At pag pinakita yung batas, merong o dyan, merong hindi. It will now be up to this country whether we want our people to be sold or to be used as chattel. As chattel. Na talagang, sabi nyo ko, sa mga speeches ng iba eh, sa mga drama dun sa mga TV, kung gustong gamitin yung babae, gagamitin ng amo eh. And I really feel that we should not even show that on television because we should tell our people not to go to places like that. Dito na lang tayo maghanap ng trabaho because the government is really uh, reneging on its obligation to find work for our people here in our own country. So that is, if, with your permission, that is what I will direct now. DFA, SSS, your legal, uh, Kayo, and uh, Ericsson, and all the others, we work together so we craft the language that we put in this bill that is acceptable to them that they can run with. It may not happen because some others will say, no, we will not accept. But at least meron tayong legal basis para sabihin yun. Isa yun at saka yung UN effort to try and get this done in the United Nations. Or the ILO. Or the ILO. M Mr. Right? Chair? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Yeah. This here, uh, nakita ko po na yung private recruitment ay, at saka yung manning agency ay considered as employer of the OFW. Kami pong land-based, hindi po kami employer kasi yung employer nandoon doon sa ibi ibang bansa. Oo. Oh, pero kayo hmm. nag-a-arrange. Yes po. Pero, so kung pipilitin nyo doon, hindi kami makakapagbigay sa inyo kung wala kayong ibibigay na ganyan, ay sama nyo sa salary at ibibigay doon sa SSS, baka hindi na kami magpadala sa inyo. Hindi ba? Yes. Masa nyo yan, makakatulong kayo. Kaya sinasama ko kayo dito eh. Because kung may batasa tayo, kayong iso, pagharap nyo ngayon doon, alam nyo, don't sell our people short. They love Filipino domestics. They love Filipino workmen. They love Filipino waiters, cooks, everything. Because may, may magaling tayo. But that's a roll of the dice. Ano yung magaling manisi ang Pilipino? Natawalan kami ng trabaho dahil pinili nyo yan. Eh, pinaglalaban yung karapatan ninyo, tapos ayaw ninyo. Ganun yan eh. Yes. Sir, maybe we can ask the PUA kasi po baka ho ang ma na masasacrifice dito <coughs> sa land base ay yung mga countries na nagbibigay ng social security ng kanilang country doon sa ating workers. Pagka ho ipinilit natin yung SSS, aalisin naman nila yon in favor of the Philippine SSS. 
I think the reason why they are not agree agreeing to pay SSS in the Philippines is because they already provide the social security cover in the country at a higher, with a higher uh, You know, cover in mga Pilipino? Uh, meron po. Mr. Chair? Yung. Then we should research that. Yes. Lalong lalo na siguro, Mr. Chair, tignan natin pagdating dun sa mga domestics natin. Ang domestics, I'm sure, wala. Ang domestics, wala. Yes. Can we have a, maybe, maybe para guided time, Mr. Chair, is um, statistics from DOLE, from POEA, but for example, if we have 10 million Filipinos working abroad, ilang baho doon ang merong social security provided by their employer, ilang po ang wala. We, these are all basic information that you know, at least we'll be guided with our, with our uh, recommendations and also our uh, policy. You know, I think, uh, not, hindi ngayon, eh, Mr. Chair, in the later date na lang, uh, uh, we're directing the DOLE and that is the fair. Uh, POA, POA to come up with those statistics. That is fair. Uh, Mr. Chairman. And we will, what we'll probably end up with is merong iba makokover and iba hindi makokover. Yes. Meron po tayong existing bilateral agreement with some countries. Unfortunately, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, hindi ito po ikinakampanya pa namin na pumayag sila. Ang uh, buod po nitong bilateral agreement, among others, meron pong portability provision na kung ang Filipino worker ay may SSS doon, yan po ay pwede naming uh, uh, i-recognize para kung pagbalik niya rito ay meron po tayong kasunduan kung paano maghahati ng pagbabayad ng benepisyo. Kaya nga po siya nasami namin kayo, dahil hindi naman kayo nagsasalita kung hindi namin kayo tatalangin. Eh, pinagtatrabaho niyo kami, trabaho niyo yan eh. Kayo ang naglalabi dito ng bill niyo eh. Kayo may gusto na 100% coverage. You should prepare for that. You should prepare. You should do the research along with them. Do the research on which countries, and if you are really the middleman, you should really try to make an effort na yung mga tabaho ang binibigyan nyo ay mapoproteksyon natin ng empleyo din natin sa abroad. My staff will also work. Your staff better work. Your staff better work. And then we schedule a meeting when? October? October 10. Please do your research. And then after that, uh, we will we'll also take a, another quick look at the TWG because we were not able to see it. Uh, again, I, I, I tell the ComSec to make sure that we have better, I will, I will, call, I will talk to the secretary now and uh, so that all the committee rooms should have better uh, projectors. projectors. Projector lang eh. At saka screen dapat na malaki. Hindi naman na kasi kailangan. Pero pwede na yan kahit na ganyan. Basta malakas lang. Anyway, so October 10, we will have that. And then after that, we should schedule also by November. We should finish this law and we can push it. I would ask you to talk to the president and say that it be certified. He will not certify until it goes to second and third reading. And you better talk to the House to amend the House the way we're amending it here. We are not going to be able to say January. What are you Kalaban? All right? Uh, for the information of the Chair and your owners, uh, certified na po ng LEDAC. Na, uh, hindi hindi recognize yung LEDAC dito. dito. <laughs> uh, certification yung President <laughs> lang. <laughs> Nakakaroon pa nga ng problema ngayon dahil sinertify niya yung barangay elections hanggang ngayon, wala pa. Alright? Alright, so... Uh, I will wait until the, my, my colleagues have finished the com committee and local government meeting before I proceed. <laughs> Alright, any more concerns? So again, I repeat, we will have an October 10 meeting. We will not only go through this OFW, but we will review it line by line. Once we finish that, we'll have one short meeting for everybody to approve it, and then we go to plenary. But I will really take offense, and I warn you, I will take offense upon any agency here that does not do his homework, especially on this matter of OFWs. 
We need to know kung ano ang mga provisions na pwede natin gawin. We need to research on other countries that have this provision. We need to know which countries are getting real, uh, SSS from our people in their own SSS system. And we want to know how far we can go and what authority they will have in the law that they can now negotiate with that part of the law and bring it to other countries for negotiation. I mean, did I say it right, Attorney Raul Dado? Uh, exactly, sir. What does Dado mean in Spanish? Uh, it's, it's given, I think. Correct. To give. All right. Sige. All right. Tatawa, tawa si Nancy. Sige, all right. In that, in that event, I will now suspend the hearing until October 10 for the TWG. And then another hearing will be called when? When can we hear? November now. November now. Sometime in November, we'll call another hearing. But after the October 10 meeting, the session is suspended until October 10, and then at the next uh, hearing to be set at the October 10 meeting. Thank you very much.